you're a Tato, it's great to be here this evening. Can I also pass on uh, my congratulations to Halberg Foundation for getting this evening up under some very trying circumstances. And also to all of the nominees and the winners tonight, uh, you made New Zealand very proud throughout the last two years. It is my tremendous privilege to be here this evening to present the New Zealand Sport Leadership Award. The recipient is one of New Zealand's most enduring, successful and accomplished sports administrators. They are also someone for whom the timing of the award could not be better. With New Zealand having just completed its most successful Winter Olympic Games, following the new heights attained in Tokyo last year. This year's recipient of the Sport New Zealand Leadership Award is Karen Smith. Chief Executive and Secretary General of the New Zealand Olympic Committee since 2011, we have experienced a period of unprecedented success at Olympic and Winter Olympic Games, together with our most successful Commonwealth Games outside of New Zealand. Through this time, the NZOC has risen to the challenges of Zika, now COVID-19, established an Integrity Committee, Māori Advisory Committee and a Leadership Academy strongly champions women's sport and strengthen the role and capability of NZOC Athletes Commission. This is true leadership. Prior to joining the NZOC, Karen served for 11 years as Chief Executive of the New Zealand Academy of Sports South Island, having earlier served as the General Manager of the Hillary Commission, now Sport New Zealand. Internationally, Karen is part of the IOC Sport and Activity Commission, is the Vice President of the Commonwealth Games Federation. She has also served netball in a governance capacity as Chair of Netball New Zealand and Vice President of International Netball. Her incredible contribution to sport has been recognised in many prestigious awards. Among them, Member of the New Zealand Order of Merit for Services to Sport and Governance, which was awarded to Karen in 2015. Her 26 years and counting in sports administration and his amazing achievement and the source of inspiration to so many, myself included. For me, what makes great leaders is not just what they achieve, but how they go about it. Karen's style of leadership is constructive, positive, forward-thinking, inclusive and collaborative. She builds deep, long-standing relationships and she empowers the people around her. She reminds me of one of my favourite quotes from Sheryl Sandberg's Lean In. We must raise both the ceiling and the floor. At that, Kieran is one of the greats. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Sport New Zealand Leadership Award, Kieran Smith. Thank you, Raylene, and Sport New Zealand. This is an incredibly humbling and very special honour. Thank you. I've been actually blessed um, and privileged to serve many roles in leadership and sport in New Zealand and around the world. And the amazing and awesome thing about it is I've loved them all. And uh, I think as I reflect on that, I also reflect on the, the kind of start and the foundation, and I'd like to acknowledge netball as a sport where that was my foundation. I became in contact with so many amazing female mentors, amazing role models who helped shape me, who I am, and what I stand for in my pathway. So that's very special, and I'm very grateful to netball for that. So becoming a champion for gender equality, for greater inclusion, and for good governance was a natural lead on, and I'm really grateful for all of those opportunities. For the past 11 years, I've been immersed in the world of Olympic and Commonwealth sport. 
and it's been a magical chapter and, and actually quite a long story now, Raylene, thanks for reminding me of that. But a huge thanks and massive thanks to Mike Stanley, the President of the NZOC, to the fabulous board of the New Zealand Olympic Committee and staff, the New Zealand team, to the NZ NSOs and so many people that I've worked with in sport who have been actually my mentors, my support and inspiration. So thank you for that. And the other cool thing about this job that I've been involved with is that you get to bring people together and to take on the world. And we've done that pretty well in the last couple of years. Especially as we've talked about tonight around COVID times, that I also reflect on the last decade for New Zealand sport. We've seen things growing and growing and coming to a real pinnacle, in fact, in the hardest of times. And what I think that shows us is, is the resilience, the character and the contribution that our athletes in sport makes to New Zealand. I've been really proud to be part of this work. I've been proud to be part of upholding the mana of our New Zealand athletes and to enhance our status as a country on the world stage on and off the field of play. So I just want to say thanks to Sport New Zealand, not only for all the work you do, but for this award in recognising leadership, to the Halberg Foundation, extraordinary work, and to Sir Murray, you are an absolute legend and inspiration. We thank you every day for your work. For me to have my name on this trophy is deeply humbling, and I'm really grateful for that. So finally, I just want to say a big thanks to my colleagues, to my friends, to my family, and to Pauline for their enduring support, their mentorship, and their inspiration. Thank you very much.